I am, uh, I'm what's left of Mark Parman. I am the Evaluation and Outcomes Measurement Specialist for the Community Organization Training and Technical Assistance Program of the Community and Cultural Outreach Department of the Cherokee Nation. Well, the first thing we ask, of course, is how organized are they? And do they need help with that? Uh, there's a small, uh, there's, a, there's a group of ladies in the community where I live that here two months ago uh, decided they wanted to form a, an organization for our community because we really don't have one. And, uh, and I've been trying to stay out of that because I didn't want to be the one driving it. And, uh, uh, you know, so, you know, the first questions were, okay, you know, wh what kind of form do you want this thing to take? You know, is it just going to be kind of a loose association of folks that live here? Or do you want it to be more formal so that, you know, you can, you know, get grants and funding from other sources? Uh, you know, what do you want it to be? And, you know, for probably two weeks, they discussed that, uh, you know, what they really wanted it to look like. And now we're in the process of helping them uh, uh, build a, a volunteer board for a nonprofit organization that they'd like to have. Uh, they've set some goals. Some of them are fairly lofty, uh, which is great. Uh, you know, and some of them are, are uh, you know, things that, you know, they hope to have done in the next two months. You know, <laughs> you know so it's, so, you know, they're really, uh, you know, I see my job, even though I do live there and, and this is my community too, uh, you know, I try to step out and say, okay, you know, y'all are going to be the ones doing all this work. What is it you want to do? And, and how do you want to impact our community? You know, the way, you know, with any community, I mean, when we, you know, we don't go there if we're not asked. Uh, and the first thing we ask them when we get there is, you know, what do you think we can help you with? Uh, what is it you're doing? that uh, you know we can help move forward one of the groups that we first started working with early on was a, a group of uh, of elders who really what they were want what they want to do and and they were wanting to do at the time was to uh, pass on uh, knowledge of the this different uh, uh, botanical medicines that we would, could find in the woods and uh, of course you know that's a great thing and we wanted to help them as best we could uh, unfortunately we hooked them up with another department that didn't really see it that way and instead of having this book that they were wanting to put together to give to people they started selling it and selling medicine of course you know is not a thing that you do that's just not yeah and so you know we have even with it, because we're such a large nation, you know, within it, we have folks who really don't, who aren't grounded in our uh, our own culture. And so sometimes they make really bad mistakes. <laughs> and that took us probably four years before we could get these guys to, to talk to us again, uh, just because we're, you know, part of, of this bigger governmental organization. And, uh, you know, it, but you know, I think now we're moving in, a, we've got a garden going and, or they do, and uh, are, uh, you know, growing a lot of the plants we used to grow. You're out there really trying to do everything you can to help them because this is important knowledge that we've got this, to figure out a way to uh, perpetuate. Uh, and, and these are the folks that have it, so we've got to give them, you know, all the help we can to do it in the way they want to. Whatever the community, though, we try to meet them where they're at and help them achieve what it is they want to achieve, whatever that is. You know, um, some of them, it's simply that they want to have uh, uh, an elder nutrition program come in three times a week. And, and that, if that's all they want, well, you know, we'll do everything we can to make sure that happens for them. We'll hook them up with the right people. and. Yeah. You know, although it looks really different from the outside, when you drill down into what's really going on, the 
process is, is, is the same, whether we're doing that or talking about language preservation or, uh, you know, getting uh, you know, young students, uh, elementary age students involved in uh, a game like uh, our Cherokee Marbles. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's the same process. It, it's really, it's a lot of fun. You know, I'd say 75% of the funding for these programs all come from uh, the Cherokee Nation businesses. Like I said, we do get this, we do get this grant from the uh, Department of Agriculture to do rural development, and, and, we're, and we're using that to really upgrade our training for folks. I think the biggest thing is uh, what people want in their community, we found we we provide them with a pathway so they know they can get there. It depends on where they want to go, how fast they want to go, and and you know, and they go at their own rate. We don't push anybody to do anything. Moving people where they're not you know they're not afraid to ask each other those questions. You know, uh, you know how do we know that we know? And you know, instead of just saying, "Well, we all know this," well, how do you know that? Yeah, and they're figuring out ways to you know, and it's really strange because, oh yeah, you've got to talk to your neighbors to find out. You know, it's like, oh, well, that's a new concept. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know, especially in some of these really small communities, I mean, your neighbors are are uh, probably you know related to you some way somehow. I mean, you know, when you're talking of a town that's, you know, less than 500 people, you know, and some of them are closer to 100, you know, everybody that lives there is related in some way. <laughs> you know, so, so it's like we've got to talk to family and, and friends, you know. So, you know, it's, you know, uh, it's moving forward. And, and they're, they're, you know, they can explain to you why, the, why something is working or not working.